there's a lot of stuff happening because life is still happening. Like I said, things are happening in people's families. They're working things out. It's 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 beautiful, but there's also these what we call triggers, and I think of triggers now in working with Cynthia as those things that they're not bad. They're just things that haven't been healed yet, and so it's something to put attention to. So this, I did this because when we were, I don't know what had happened one night, but I was, I don't know if I was having a conversation with a family member, but I just felt pretty constricted because not all my family agrees with what I'm doing. Some have different perspectives on it. And I have to be really true to myself about this land. And I, when I'm on this land, I do talk a lot to my parents and I ask them for guidance because Sometimes the more that I have come out as myself, sometimes, like you know, that people will step to you and sometimes they will step away from you. And so this came out of a, I always see this and I'm like, I want to do something with it, but I felt so constricted, like always having a push down who I am, push down. And so I got, and I just put this on the thing. And I'm like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to make sense. And I don't care if anybody else understands it. It's a work in progress. And I don't even understand it either. These were flowers. <laughs> Before we came, I was going to say to give them to you, but um, and to for your own offering, for your ancestors, if you want to do that, maybe think about it. And then that piece over there was um, done with chalk. And Jazzy helped me do that, but my niece, who couldn't be here tonight, um, my great niece, Ayana, she spoke like at all, every time we do an artist talk at place, my, and my mom would come, my, my sisters would come, my nieces, so they would all speak, and so it has been a big loss not to have that, that presence in that way. But this was because of, um, I, she worked with me on this, and she called, she's, she turned 14, and it's her birthday and she graduated today but she said i just want to congratulate you guys for the show tonight even though she couldn't be here but i think for me this is like freedom like don't be afraid if nobody else understands your work uh play around with it have fun with it if kids want to run underneath this like i'm so curious when the kids come here because they're going to do stuff they're going to add stuff to it they're going to give me ideas but i think for me it's just like Finding your path and freedom and like, just like, it's okay if you don't understand it all right now. And I don't understand this piece, but I'm gonna keep playing with it. And just kind of like for me, it was just to remember the seven generations and the ancestors, because they, there was a lot, there's a lot of beautiful memories here, but there's a lot of violence. There was a lot of alcoholism there was a lot of drugs that were there and see now when you see seven generations and like you see those patterns are going on to the next generations and that's where I'm like you know what this is why I have to do this work because it's not about me and it's not about I can go on in my life and just like turn my back to all this but I think I don't want and you have no control. You have no control. But I'm just trying to work on my own healing, my own space. And actually, when I thought about this piece, I thought about my great nieces and nephews because out of everybody in my family, I feel like they understand me the most. They don't have judgment. We play, we have a good time. We, you know, like one of them said to me the other, because my mom passed like, a week ago was her second year anniversary. She's like, you didn't remember grandma passed? And we just had this conversation and she's like one of the few people in my family that talk to me about that because sometimes you get pushed down all the fucking time. Like, don't talk about that. Why are you still bringing that up? And we have to let things go to be able to be present to the joy that is now. So oh, I hope, was there any kids in the house? Okay. But I think it's like, you know, like my sisters are here, my niece is here. And I like, I'm just happy they came. 
and I love you guys, and I want you to know that this is a, this is a prayer for a mother and a father who went through a lot, and it might seem weird, it might seem like, why are you doing this, but I want, I want something that I, for the ones that are there, and there are grandmothers and mothers, and they know, they can't, they want that for their kids, so. That's what my piece is about, and it's still a work in progress. I'm still trying to understand. So I thank you all for listening. Because you know what? You all, I know you all got your journeys. You all have your own journeys. And so, you know, it's not about judgment. It's not about, like, somebody's crying that's weak. No. Just, I'm encouraging you to continue. Because you're probably here for a reason. You don't have to come here. Honestly. So... I just thank you for showing up for yourself and for us too. That's all. Thank you. Thank you.